When we think about transformational growth, what is the key to that? What if we use some of what I talked about in the previous video, which I'll link up there and also down below? It has to do with AI. What if AI can lead us to transformational growth, but it's not the AI you're thinking of? Come on, my friend. Let's dig into the soil of this together. Hey, my name is D. Grant Smith. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you being here. I love you. I believe in you. And I'm so thankful to have you here with me today. Like I mentioned a minute ago in a previous video, actually the most recent video, I talked about a different kind of AI to revolutionize and change your life. And also a different kind of AI that brings about the kind of life that you want to experience, regardless of your internet connection, because it doesn't actually have anything to do with the web or Wi-Fi or technology. It has to do with you. And we're going to play on something very similar today, because similar to what my buddy Mojo does, and I'm going to be talking about Mojo. Actually, I'm going to be introducing you guys to Mojo tomorrow in the next edition of Ray of Sunshine, so be sure to check that out. Um, and if you're watching this after Memorial Day 2023, then just go to the link in the uh, description below. I'll have a link to that video. Mojo is an awesome dude. One of the coolest things about Mojo is he is fantastic at coming up with incredible acronyms that really change the way you look at yourself and change the way you look at life and change the way you look at everything. So if AI is not artificial intelligence and we can use a different set of words to go along with AI, what if we think about transformational growth and transformational revolution in our lives in the best and most loving ways through a different set of lens? What if AI, aside from affirmation and imagination, like I talked about last time, what if we reconfigure it once more? and look at AI as appreciation increase. I learned this from Wayne Dyer. He talked about when you appreciate something, you add value to it. When you depreciate something or when something depreciates, it loses value. When something or someone or our concept of self, aka self-concept, increases in value, everything rises, everything grows. And so in this process of us becoming the best version of ourselves and growing into the best version of ourselves by planting, sowing, and cultivating love in our mind garden, in our heart garden, in our spirit, and in our body, as we continue to transform into the best version of ourselves, let's appreciate who we are and appreciate who we are becoming and increase our appreciation for the journey of life. Because, and maybe it's the fact that this is Memorial Day and I'm thinking about memory and some different capacities, but if we look back on the journey of our lives, on the places that we've been, on the things that we've faced, on the challenges that seemed way too difficult to go through at the time, but we came out on the other side of it different. We realized how strong we really are. We realized how we're capable of so much more than our limiting beliefs will tell us that we are. And in the process of going through difficult challenges, maybe even difficult heartbreaks, there's something that we find about ourselves inside of ourselves that had been there the whole time, but had only been hidden. And so as we look back on the journey of our lives, Regardless of whether it's all been sunshine and rainbows, and there's a 99.9% .9 chance that that hasn't been the case for you, it certainly hasn't been the case for me, but even looking back on the most difficult moments, the most difficult times, knowing that those difficulties produced change, allowed you to see yourself in a new way, maybe even led you, like it did me, to your spiritual awakening, where you found the divinity within you in a way that church or religion never did something that became way more personal, and you connecting with your spirit, you connecting with God in this very intrinsic, powerful, deep soul level that revolutionized your life. And what if you needed to go through those difficult situations to be able to have those kind of moments, 
to be able to have that kind of revelationary experience. And yeah, revelationary is a word I made up, but it works. <laughs> Think back in your memory. And as you look at the times of your life, be appreciative of the great times. Increase your appreciation of all of the love that you've experienced, all of the joy that you've had. But also as you look at the times that were difficult, the times that were challenging, the times that really pushed you to the edge, they grew your faith. They grew your faith in you. They grew your faith in God. They grew your faith in what is possible. Because when we can go through very, very difficult situations, things that seem impossible, and then find out that they're not, life changes. Life transforms. We find an inspiration in ourselves. See the inspiration in yourself and appreciate who you are now and appreciate the journey that is making you into who you are becoming. There's a great book I have called The Journey is the Joy. And it's a metaphoric way of looking at the different paths that we take in life. Sometimes we can find ourselves on stressed out street or resistance road. And many of us have, have found ourselves in these places. And if we spend too much time focusing on the stress, focusing on the resistance and focusing on the pain, we'll never get off of those roads. We'll be constantly hitting ditch after ditch, pothole after pothole, dead end after dead end. But when we add appreciation to our journey, when we can appreciate the journey that we're on, and shift from a place of feeling stressed into a place of feeling gratitude. It's metaphorically talked about in that story about the gratitude gateway puts us back on the faith freeway that leads us to the place where we're going, that leads us to our desired goal or our desired destination. But we find on the journey to the desired destination that it's not the destination we actually want to get to, even though we might have convinced ourselves that that's what it is. It's actually the journey there that is the most important part. And this is the journey where we can add appreciation to it. And as we add appreciation to our journey, especially when we're looking back, but even right here in this present moment, exactly as things are now. Invest in, there's another I word, invest in and increase the appreciation you have for life as it is now, for the relationships that you have now, for the abundance and the blessings and the gifts that you have now, for the talents that are coming alive, but that are real right now. Whatever it is that is in your life that you love, increase your appreciation. Have an AI experience, an appreciation increase, and watch how your life continues to grow and transform and you becoming the best version of you. If you're on board with this with me, drop down in the comments below and say, hey, D. Grant, I'm with you on this too. I'm going to increase my appreciation today. Maybe that's IA. Doesn't matter. The acronym still works. You want more from me? I've got some awesome stories that will inspire you, transform you, and help you continue to grow into the best version of yourself. Available at growthfarming.com. I'll put a link down in the description box below. I appreciate you. I love you. Oh, if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe. And also share this video with someone that you know that maybe is interested in AI or maybe interested in and growing in their own personal development, spirituality, and becoming the best version of themselves. Share this video so that they can grow in their process too. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you soon.